a good example of what uh, of the type of things that I'm, I have done is my work on Keynes. After my PhD thesis, I have written a second thesis on uh, Keynes. It was short after the publication of Axel Lyonufut's book. And uh, interestingly, I'm finishing a paper now on the book, on Axel's book. And so that this is a theme that has uh, remained, where I have remained active all my, during all of my career. And, uh, and this is also a, a theme, my work on Keynes, uh, where I have done historical research, but also theoretical research. Another example of the uh, influence, efficient influence that uh, uh, historioeconomic thought can have on the theoretical work is uh, what I have done with uh, Claude and Louis André, is uh, my work on oligopolistic competition, uh, which have, has been influenced by the reflections on uh, the Cournot Bertrand debate, essentially. And then we moved away from the historical uh, material as such. And we have tried to build a model that is a, a general model of oligopolistic competition that goes from perfect competition to uh, uh, tacit collusion, uh, and which is static and simple enough to be a brick of uh, simple general equilibrium models that have been used in uh, uh, macroeconomics and trade theory, typically Dixit Stiglitz. So it is a way of proposing an alternative to uh, Dixit Stiglitz instead of having uh, monopolistic competition with insignificant firms, we put uh, large firms and uh, try to have s solutions that can be handled without uh, uh, too much difficulty by people that are interested in macroeconomics and trade theory. So I think that it's again uh, going from history to, uh, to theory and theory to history is something that is, in my case, it has been very uh, efficient. Uh, a great moment, uh, subjective subjectively great moment in uh, the research I have uh, performed with uh, Claude and Louis André already on this uh, modeling of oligopolistic competition in a, in a single uh, model uh, where we can go from uh, uh, tacit collusion to uh, uh, perfect competition with uh, uh, substitutable or complementary goods uh, was uh, when we tried to have a single diagram, a computed diagram uh, of a duopoly where we have uh, the possibility of going from perfect, perfect substitutability to perfect complementarity and we, we didn't understand how, how Cournot and Bertrand uh, can fit uh, in uh, this model where we obtain, we can obtain perf uh, perf uh, tacit collusion for some, uh, for some uh, levels of substitutability or complementarity, but don't let products become too complementary or too substitutable. And when making computations, at sometimes uh, at some time, we understood what was the, the, the relation between uh, uh, the Cournot case, the Bertrand case, and the tacit collusion case. And this was a great moment of joy in our production. A research career 
is not only publishing papers, writing and publishing papers. It is also having some activity in uh, which is maybe collectively valuable. And this I began, this type of activity I began even before I have uh, completed my PhD thesis. Uh, what I have always tried to defend in France, as in Portugal, was the idea that you, in order to evaluate uh, projects and uh, vitae, we must look at what has been published, not only in projects, but what is already done. And so uh, that I have, I had the occasion of doing as a member of a panel of the aggregation, which is the uh, recruitment, the, 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 the procedure to recruit professors in France, but also in Portugal, where I have been the chair of uh, panels for some years for the Portuguese Scientific Foundation. And uh, the same was true that I wanted to uh, consider what is, might appear as, as a, a trivial now. Nowadays, where you have all these uh, ways of uh, ranking uh, uh, institutions and individuals according to publications, but uh, at, at that time, at the time I have, I had the occasion to intervene. It was m not so common, and uh, it was necessary to change the the minds, uh, which were not always convinced that. Uh, published research was uh, something that was the basis of, uh, of uh, should be the basis of, uh, of uh, evaluation to fund projects, to recruit people and so on. Mm -hmm. So that was part of my contribution, modest contribution to uh, uh, Portuguese research for some time. And uh, during that, that period, uh, Paulo Brito was thinking of uh, creating a journal that would be the hair of uh, the, the, the journal that was being published by the ISEG, but which would be an independent uh, journal with uh, vocation to be an international journal. And so I, have, uh, I had the, the pleasure and the honor to take part in the creation of the Portuguese Economic Journal, although my contribution was quite uh, modest and, and uh, I, I, I don't, I had possibly more of a uh, moral influence than the, than the, uh, a real, uh, a real uh, material contribution to the journal. And but I'm very proud of. Uh, what uh, the journal has become, and uh, I, I think that I have not lost any single minute of the time that I have contributed to the journal life.